pictures, but I, I'm struck by the pictures of the little girls on there. Walk me through which of these are safe, which ones make sense. Well, relaxers, unfortunately, can be dangerous. Um, they're typically marketed to African-American women, and you can find them over the counter at drug stores and beauty supply stores. But they contain an ingredient called sodium hydroxide, and it's also known as lye, and it's also known as the active ingredient in drain cleaner. So you pour this down the drain to melt the hair that's clogging your drain. So imagine what it's going to do on your head. Now, there are also no line relaxers. Mm -hmm. Sounds safer. It does. It's just a little tweak of the line relaxer. So it's really just as caustic. Another market employee saying that they have organic and natural ingredients. Yeah, I, I noticed that here. And can I just say something? This really bothers me. You know, I, we spend so much time on this show trying to get folks to be aware of what they're buying, and you most of you now know that organic foods make a ton of sense. When someone puts the word organic or natural on a product like this, it irritates me because there's no such thing. How do you make a lie organic? And so I'd rather you buy something from someone who honestly says, I'm not making something that's good for you, but, you know, it is what it is. I want to get my hair beautiful, as the woman talked about in the little video we looked at. Right. As opposed to conning you to think this is safer. So I want to show you how costly these relaxers can be. So I, Christine, where's Christine? Come on, not Christine. Come join us. This is, this is too dangerous for Cheryl to do, so she's just going to watch us. But uh, we're going to actually do this the right way. So there we go. Put a little mask on you. There, push that down. Put your gloves on. We're going to actually show you what these relaxers are. So if you don't know what they are, you might be kind of thinking that they're okay. Do you use relaxers at all? Yes, I do. You do? Are they comfortable with this material? Do you dress up like this usually? No, I don't. Not at all. All right. So go ahead. And grab this Watch paper this. and put some on the paper. That's just this is a piece of paper. Can we put a whole thing on there? It's okay. So that just hydrates the paper, right? It's just the paper a little bit wet. Now, watch what happens when you take the lye, which is this, what this powder represents, and pour it in the middle. Put the whole thing down there. Now, notice what happens. It starts to melt the paper. Can you all see that? See how it's chewing its way through there? And it's giving off incredibly harsh gases, which is why we have these masks on. It could fly up into your eyes, which you can do it. And what happens in the bottom? I don't know if you can even... You see how that turns? You're literally getting holes in the paper. See, it's pulling right through there, and then it's smoking. You all see that? This is what I'm talking about. This is not stuff that I want patterned around. So it's not that I'm against straighteners. I'm against straighteners not being used correctly, and people not knowing what they're really getting when they actually get it. If you leave this on too long, it's very, very dangerous. Christine, thank you. You can take that mask home if you want. Oh, thank you. Ladies, this is what we are doing to our hair when we do those um, perms. Um, we get those scabs, we get those spots, we feel that burn, we feel that pain, and some of us keep on going and we still sit there and wait a little longer because we want that bone straight look, and others run to the sink and hurry up and rinse it out. Some of us, we scratch our heads, we don't put grease on our scalp before we do it, which is called basting, we just go at it. And a lot of us don't even mix it up completely right. I mean, I've seen chunks, I've seen streaks of the, what is it, activator or, or whatever that clear liquid is that you mix into the cream. But anyway, we, we need to make a change. And I'm starting to see a lot more natural women on TV, dark skin, light skin. And I'm also starting to see a lot more shows and different segments that are geared towards the different things that we put in our hair to straighten them and whatnot, like this today that I saw on Dr. Oz. And I just wanted to share that with you guys because we don't see this uh, when we need to see it, which is right before we get a perm or right before we looking at that touch up, looking at those roots and saying, ooh, I need a touch up. Some of us need to stop touching it. Get it? Not a touch up, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Bree Natural out.